Hello, welcome. This is the second video in a series meant to help you understand the different trig ratios that we can construct in the unit circle and specifically connect them to the graph of the tangent function. Now in the first video I showed you this image at the start and we've got some of it already we've got the tangent but you can see there's secant, cosecant, and cotangent and I want to make sure in this video that you understand where those come from. And then finally we'll connect all of this to the graph of the tangent. Alright, so how do we do this? Well, we have the tangent, we have one. Let's look at our next mystery side. This side, right? What is that? Now you might have just seen it in the last in the last model that I showed you, the picture that was labeled, but let's pretend we don't know. Let's think about it. So this side, the ratio of this side, the hypotenuse, to one would have to be equivalent to the ratio of this hypotenuse, which is one, right, it's the radius of the circle, to this side, which is the cosine. So it equals 1 over the cosine of theta. Now, divide them by 1, right, it doesn't really affect your outcome. It's just the numerator, essentially, of course. Exactly. Um, so what is 1 over the cosine equal to? What's the reciprocal of the cosine? By definition, it is the secant, right? This hypotenuse is the secant, and now we're getting somewhere. So we'll label that. This is the secant. It keeps going to that, this off green. No, it's not the green I want. I want this green. Okay, secant of theta. And I'm going to label it here in our model up here. This secant of theta is this hypotenuse right here. And that will change right as theta changes. But this is one of our triangles. Now, if you were the person in charge of discovering this, if you were the first person to do this, where would you go next, right? What would you do next? Well, there is the radius of the unit circle. So that's what we're relying on. So let's go up here and see what happens if we draw this triangle. All right, so we have this triangle now. And what do we know about this triangle? Well, we know quite a bit. This is a right angle, and we know this leg is 1. And it probably makes sense, for me at least, to draw this thing out and turn it around because it's hard for me to think about this shape when it's upside down. Okay, now I'm going to take this shape. Oh, well, this is my tool. Here we go. Boom. And I'm going to flip it. All right. So now we've got this third triangle here. And just so I don't get a little confused, uh, this side corresponds to this side. This side corresponds to this side. This is my right angle, and this is 1. And then our hypotenuse is here. Okay, so what do we do? Well, let's look at what these sides would equal. Let's first look at the hypotenuse, mystery side. The ratio of the hypotenuse to the other side that we know, 1, would correspond to the ratio of this hypotenuse in the original triangle, which is 1, to what side? Dun, 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 to this side, right? To the sine of theta. So, what essentially equals the reciprocal of the sine? It's the cosecant, and that's right. This hypotenuse right here is the cosecant. And isn't this beautiful? The secant and cosecant are essentially right next to each other here. And now, one side left. Why don't you pause the video and try and figure it out? We know this is the cosecant, right? Pause the video. What's this? Figure it out. You can do it. Okay. So I'm not sure where you are at in this, but let's just look at it. You can pause this video whenever these hints help you. The ratio of this side, let's say to 1, and we could use the cosecant, but that seems a little more complicated, has to equal what? The ratio of this side to this side, cosine to sine. Hmm, what does that equal? Well, we know that the tangent is sine over cosine, and this is the reciprocal of that. So what's the reciprocal of the tangent? It is the cotangent. This is the cotangent. Is this so cool? So this is the cotangent of theta. Now, what's extra cool about this is that this line now that defines tangent is a tangent line, which you would have defined in geometry. Right, it hits the circle here at one point. And the cotangent is as well. And um, if you look at the secant here, it's crossing through the circle. 
And I like that it would hit the circle here, right? And uh, if you kept extending it, it would hit the circle a second time, just like a secant would in geometry. So now we have a picture of a tangent, cotangent, secant, cosecant, sine, and cosine all together. And there are other models. There, this is just one of many. Just like in poetry, there are many ways to express a certain idea or theme. And the same is true in math. There are many ways to express these ratios. But I think this model is particularly helpful in tangent, which we'll see in the next video. Thank you.